Like all choruses, the Mayflowers are continually trying to improve themselves. Well, this year, it's not our singing that's improved. Our technology skills have just gone through the roof and we couldn't be prouder. This lockdown has really shown me just how creative everybody in our chorus can be, whether it's been creating new bakes, whether it's been new quizzes that they've shared, all sorts of lovely, wonderful things have happened during our rehearsals and when we've been allowed to meet up in sixes. As a quartet, we had so much fun during the summer months when we sang in my willow garden, lots of giggles when we couldn't remember the words, and then we sang in the polytunnel if it was raining. Our wonderful Zoom and garden meetings will never replace terrific weekly rehearsals, but they have kept me connected, supported and enthusiastic. As restrictions continue, our kitchen and living rooms have become the place where we participate in our rehearsals, sing our songs and receive emotional support. Our Zoom meetings have been a gift to embrace. Despite the enormous challenges of the last year, there is now light at the end of the tunnel. Meltdown Sound started the year in 2020 by creating a video by Hall & Oates, You Make My Dreams Come True. So it's just a video of all the Millies in their own houses, just having a bit of fun, just to lighten the mood because it was the beginning of lockdown. After that, we had the virtual convention where we completed our own glow up convention video. So everyone in the Millies put their convention costume on, hair and makeup, with the songs featured on that as Cabaret and Something Inside So Strong. We've learned a couple of new songs in lockdown as well as keeping to our weekly rehearsals on Wednesday nights. So the rehearsals tend to be a little bit of singing, sectional rehearsals, as well as making sure we do something fun like a quiz or a game, just so we can kind of keep connected, we can still see each other and we feel like we're still carrying on with this whole lockdown and whatever's going on at the moment. Um, as well as that, we've done a bit of coaching, PVI sessions, done some vocal education as well. We've had some visitors that we've had David Sangster, we've had Kate Firth and the lovely Sound Central Quartet as well. After that, we got to Christmas and we had an 18th birthday drive-by for one of our members. We did Christmas Colleagues, which was basically a secret Santa. Then we did a Christmas video, so that's Christmas to me, which is all the Millies in their own homes with their families. We had a Christmas party night, uh, we had a retreat party night in March 2021 and also we did a new song that we've just learned called Don't Stop and that's our latest song and our latest video. Right before the lockdown hit, no Borders had a retreat weekend, meaning we'd stocked up on community spirit and connection. We definitely consider ourselves lucky to have had that. Through the months that then passed, we experienced the same loss and withdrawal symptoms as every other group, except we were already used to only rehearsing once a month, so it felt slightly less traumatic. Fortunately, here in the Netherlands, we were able to rehearse a few times together during the summer, but that was short-lived and we were back again soon enough to rehearsing over Zoom. We did rehearse though, and have brought several new songs to the repertoire, have worked on performance, focused on developing show sets, had special guests, recorded a couple of virtual choruses and enjoyed a lively Christmas Zoom party. We're now integrating Jamulus into our rehearsal technique and section rehearsals, so we can really enjoy the sense of singing together again. Kind of.
As we left rehearsal on the 10th of March 2020, waving goodnight to our friends in the chill night air, the last of the daffodils nodding farewell to winter, little did we know that we would not be seeing each other again till all four seasons had run their merry course and summer was upon us again. And as we entered the daunting world of virtual rehearsals, like true mountaineers, those further ahead on the learning curve reached back to lift those struggling further down the slope. In true Phoenix spirit, we made sure that no one was left behind. Old Mistress Zoom became our new best friend. Almost 80% of Phoenix members rejoiced in our weekly rehearsals and a few past members joined as our guests, just for the crack. Despite the limitations of Zoom, we managed to master six new songs, all chosen for their uplifting melodies and inspiring lyrics, to exalt our wins and steady our wobbles. The highlight of our virtual singing came when we managed, through the skill of our techie goddesses, to produce a not half bad rendition of Lean On Me, which reached 4,000 people on YouTube, plus an excellent video rendition of Brave to add to our virtual collection. is renowned for its parties and we were not going to let lockdown spoil our fun. So we revelled in a virtual Christmas party with games, quizzes, frivolities and a profusion of skits and parodies. Members reported their side was still aching at the end of January. Despite this merciless virus, the spirit of Phoenix inspires us to keep striving, to keep caring, to keep laughing and to keep singing as if our sanity depended on it. Which, as any barber shopper knows, it does. Bring me basis, bring me friendship, bring me love. Yeah. The past year may have been dominated by coronavirus and lockdowns, but in Sheffield, it's been sunny. didn't get a buzz from listening and watching our video of Sunny, created together while singing apart. Don't know what I'd have done without the wonderful women in my chorus. They've been great, supporting, laughing, learning and singing. There is nothing better than music to lift spirits. Singing on my own in online Zoom sessions has given me more confidence in my own singing. The loyalty shown by its members, the friendship, the fun, the laughs, and of course the singing which we enjoy so much. We've connected in other ways too. We now have a regular newsletter. And it's been great to keep in touch with those members who don't feel that they could join the Zoom. We've had many new social events. I, for one, am enjoying the book club we started. And helped our community too. It's also been inspiring to see how much everyone has tried to show the same love and caring in the community, helping at food banks and volunteering to help with the vaccination programme, for instance. So it all adds up to... 
realising what a strong unit we have in Sheffield Harmony. Thank you for the smile upon their upon your face. We made a Christmas video for charity and had a joint project too. When our chorus, Sheffield Harmony, was invited to join four other choruses in a mass sing of the song without a song arranged by the very talented Sam Hubbard. The sound and the feeling from that mass sing that came back was wonderful and sent shivers down my spine. And I look forward to the day when we can do it in person. Singing Unlimited are indeed still singing and have maintained an attitude that we are stronger together with a spirit of unlimited energy to keep us going. No competition is a no-go for Singing Unlimited. Therefore, the board organized a puzzle competition and personally delivered the packages to our members. The Saturday morning of the competition weekend, the Who is Fastest competition started and at the end of that day, the winners were announced and the image on the jigsaw tells the story. Staying united, that is what Singing Unlimited wants to be. We were so lucky to sing outside together in summertime and be back on the rises during August and September. Our joy was short-lived since we were stopped by new COVID restrictions, heading back to Zoom again. Singing Unlimited embraced wholeheartedly Director's Appreciation Week. Anita hosts our weekly Zoom rehearsals with untiring dedication and enthusiastically provides overdoses of variation and fun. So, in secret, special photos, messages, memories of both Anita and Anda, our assistant director, were collected and made into a beautiful glossy book. It was a wonderful celebration of solidarity and togetherness in these strange times. We recently added a new item to our Zoom rehearsals, a game called The Mask Singer. Every week we show a video sent in by one of our singers who performs a song, but then dressed in complete disguise, while slightly altering voice and mannerisms as well. And then the rest of the chorus gets to guess who this Mask Singer is. The reveal video is at the end of the rehearsal and every time it's a big surprise. So we always end on a high note. We are so grateful to have kept all our members and the majority of the chorus joining on Zoom each week. We stayed positive and continued singing. Our love and being part of this wonderful group help us through this difficult time. We are Singing Unlimited.